Hello, welcome back, friends. Uh, today we're going to discuss this editing ribbon here in Microsoft Excel in the home home tabs. If you don't know the word tabs, ribbon, worksheet, please check the first videos, which is introduction of Microsoft Excel. There, the links is in the description below. You will find it. Also, if you're new here, please click subscribe button and turn notification bell into all so as to become notified for any coming videos so let's start as you see here it is called editing in the editing ribbon here we found the sum auto sum there is a field there is a clear there is a sort and filter and also there is a finder <coughs> select so all of these theory all of them item here you see all of them have a drop down menu so let's check one by one i have written something here in microsoft excel and it start from as you see here, F3 and G3 as a starting value. Also, the end value is F10 and G, G10. So, let's start here in the auto sum. What? Let's see in the drop down. There is a sum, there is an average, there is a count number, there is a maximum, there is a minimum. Also, there is a conditional format or, or, and many, many things. So, for today's videos, uh, because we don't want to use much time, we can, we can discuss this only. And I will prepare the special video for all conditional format. So, let's start. You see here the sum here. If I wanted to find the sum, sum of this data here, as you see, what can I do? Simple, I can use this sum. Let's say here I want in this cell to find the, the total. Let's say total here. And then select the cell that you want to put the summation or the total or your, your data that you want to generate. Let's click the cell. After activating the cell, it will appear here. You see G11, name box, G11. Then select the, the, the drop down menu here and select the sum. You see, it says that it's going to calculate the summation from the Mondays, which is G4 to what? To G to G10. So, the same that I want. If it is appear in the, let's say, like this, only one cell, it will say like this. So, what can I do here? Simple. Click here and it put do dot here, double dot here, and then set yourself your cell that you want as G, as G what? Sunday is G, G10, G10, you see? Then click enter. This is a summation of this all data here. The same things if I wanted to calculate the average. I say, let's say here I want to calculate the average. Simply click the, the cell here. After activate the cell, drop down menu. After drop down menu, click the average here. After click the average, it says that it is going to calculate the average from Monday to total. But we don't want the total. Simply you can change here G11 to G10. After that, click enter. This is the average number of this order. About the reduce the let's say this decimal number I have discussed in the previous videos. So let's check check the videos about the numbers section here. You will see how to reduce the this decimal number or to increase the decimal the decimal number. So let's let's move another things. You see here also we can do what we can find the count. Count means that it is going to count to count the the, the total the total cell which have the which have the every the numbers let's say here if you say that count here at this count let's say count how many of them this after that click the cell then click the count number here after that it say that it's going to count from Monday to average so we don't want it to average we want only to Sunday you see to Sunday then click enter I say that this number here from this to this one Sunday is seven. If you make the mistake that let's say this cell don't have anything, the count will not say seven, will say six because it is only going to calculate the cell that we have which have the word that they have containing something within it, let's say contain a item within it. So as you see that after clear let's say clear this C fifty six also, and then click enter. Say it say only five of them have something. So let's say control Z to return back. This is about what is about this one section of 
of this auto sum. Also, I have seen this one maximum and minimum. Well, how we can do them? The maximum it means that it is going to to find which is the more the highest value. So let's say maximum here and then select the cell, then drop down main here and select the maximum. After then select the maximum, it says that going to find the highest number from the Monday to count. But I want only two to Sunday, which is a G, G10, then click enter. Did they say the highest one is a 576? It is make easier that if you wanted to find the greatest, let's say sales or profits or number or the max you can use that maximum then use the formula here the maximum you can find which is the highest number also to find the minimum you can use the same one but if now you select the cell and then you select the what the minimum and then you select the cell that you wanted to find the minimum between them this is a simple g10 then you click into you see that the minimum number or the slow the lowest number is 20 you see here to write so this is a for the some uses in the in the out sum in the editing the rival you see all of them also there is a conditional format that i will discuss in the in the coming videos or i will prepare special video after finishing them of them and put it and you will see them so if you're new please click subscribe button and turn notification bell into all so as not miss any any coming videos also let's say this fill one up here as you see this in the fill one you see there is a down right up and left for shortly this one you can use example if i want this cell here right of this 45 to be filled the same value as this 45 as the g let's say g4 and h4 to have the same value but the h4 has no it is empty simply click the the, the cell after that click the fill here down prop down so where i want to fit to the right of 45 let's say right here right then click it you see that the same value has been filled. if you want to do it to the left you can do the same click the cell that you want to be filled then you click fill here and you click the left see the same value will be filled to to the left even the down and up all you can do this also there this one is series and justify simply i can use the i can show you this is series and justify as you know that like here it said that monday if i wanted to be series like it going itself choose the west the thursday friday without writing as choose the west simply you can click here into if it show the you see the difference between this sign and this one sign make sure that it is in the corner that appear this one sign after that hold the the left mouse and then drop down here like this one you see after that you see that itself will manually choose the ways the first the friday saturday sun example for numbers let's say here numbers i put one here only one after click the 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 after after drop down you see it say only one it does it, it doesn't show them as a series number simply you can click here in the field and that click the series after click the series make sure it is linear rows as a column after that click okay you see it's a one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you can do the same with the other the, the series as they write in here as what we can click there is a you see here column growth date there is out of field and more more anything so you can do more if you can do more all of them to yourself because i, I only show you the highlight what we can do in here in the in the edit also there this one is a clear as you see here clear Means that you're going to format or you're going to to erase the data here. Example: If I highlight this up portion here, I want this up portion to not appear. Just just I can click the clear all. After click the all, you see all the data here has been erased. Even the total now say zero. Even the average now say divided by zero. Even say the count zero, maximum zero, minimum is zero because all the data here has been erased. So if you have using something like this, 
format, content, a comment, or hyperlink. Simply, you can you can use here to say that click the content, uh, clear the content will be cleared, cleared the format, clear the comment, clear the hyper. But we don't use them. So if we uh, when we reach the videos about the use this hyperlink and any and the content format and hyperlink and comment you will see how we can clear the format and we can clear the content okay let's move now into the sort and filter so let's say click the control z so to return them into the field so if you're new here please click subscribe button and turn notification bell into all so as to become notified for any coming videos so let's say here in the sort and the filter what we can do simply click this drop down you see here it is say that sort a to z or sort what sort z to a or customize sort also there is a filter if you say sort a to z it means that the item will be arranged from a to z let's say here this monday let's highlight them it's monday to this rest and they say that drop down and say sort a to z and that says Monday section continues with the correct process you see it say that it is arranged friday the 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 first letter in the in the arrangement from a to z you see how they arrange this is a sort also you can say sort from z to a same so see it is arranged from the, the the last item the last layer to to the first layer you see Wednesday to Friday how it is arranged in the sort this is a use of sort there's a sort of A to Z and a sort Z to Z also you can customize your sort also we can use these filters this filter means that you are going to filter the item you see after click the filter you see here it is going to drop down if I click here and I say that Thursday not appear and it's Saturday not appear and it's Sunday not appear for, and you click it. Okay, you see that? It is decreasing size. Only show the 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 one that I have selected because this is the meaning of what filter. Also, let's check what we can do. I see all of them. If you have used the filter, you can now clear the filter and reappear, reapply the filter. If you you have used so we have to clear the filter you see now the filter because we can click ctrl z so also the option you you see there also there this one is a find and select let's say click drop down here you see there is a find there is a replace there is a go to also there is a find like this formula the find is a kind of comment conditional form if you use the formula in your microsoft excel and you don't know where to find you use this formula you can use this formula click here for start finally select then click the formula you see but here we want to show you only the two things here as a find and a replace and the most time uses so if you wanted to find the item in this select section in the Microsoft Excel let's say wanted to find here all about it the the what it let's say I wanted to find something here just click the find and then click the find I want it to to find let's say letter A then click here find it said that you see here yeah. E5 has A and then if you click the next it will say also choose the has A click the next you see how it is going all the data that has A will be shown one by by one let's say it contain let's say let's say they say what o n let's say o n and then click the find monday contain o n monday till n one only mondays you see they appear only the one that contain this one also there is this one replace after click this replace you see that the, the it will say find what example find o n and then replace o n let's say two let's say to a n and then you can use this replace or you can say replace all example if i click the replace all say here, you have replaced what three item of them okay 
You see, all Monday now become Monday, 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 because we have find and replace. Now, if I want to return by, like, say, without using, uh, let's say, I use a n here, find the a n, and replace them with o n, then replace all. So Monday return to Monday, and then yes. this is the uses of the find and the select the find and the replace all together this become the most useful thing example if you have make any mistake or if you want to make an adjustment of the sum data example it is appears lowest and you make a mistake you can use this find and replace you can find them and replace all them together by using this replace or or just you can replace one by one by click this replace will come the next replace or not and this there's many options here simply click here close this marks the end of the home tabs i hope you're enjoying the videos so what i want from you please your support is most needed click subscribe button and turn notification bell into all so as to come notified for any coming video the next videos we're going to look these insert tabs and we're going to look one by one but then don't miss it if you click the subscribe button, you're going to, going to be notified after clicking the bell icon also. Thank, thank you very, very much.